Mm. up here JJ coming in with a light cater man make sure everything's all looking good I think it is I think it is I'll just up the volume a little bit on that How's everyone doing? Hope you're good. JJ coming in with a like. Howdy, yo, Matthew. How are you doing? Thank you for the like. We're going to be taking out this brand new aircraft. It is the D77-TC Pelican. It's from Halo. So if you're a good fan of Halo, Master Chief, you'll uh, you will recognise this aircraft. Uh, there's the notification for Matthew's like there. I'm gonna tag one of my friends. I'm gonna see if I can tag one of my friends in here because he'll love this. Yes. There you go. Let's tag him. See if it works. Put myself a like as well, so. Let's <laughs> get them likes popping. So yeah, we're going to take this out for a little test flight. Uh, I've literally just gone up and kind of worked out how to take off in it, worked out how to like get into flight mode with it. So shouldn't be too bad. Uh, my light's coming through there. Paul coming in with the lake. <laughs> going to wait for a few more people to pop in and then we are on our way. We are at Redmond in Washington, Seattle. I'm sure the address is Washington uh, WA. All right. In Seattle. By Bellevue. Uh, we are at the. If I can remember the name. I'm sure it is. Crap, I had it on the map. Where are you? Why is that not popping up no more? Hey, there we go. It is the South Cove Heliport. It's not actually in the sim, but I found it and landed here. As you can see, the helipad logo is there. It is the South Cove Heliport in Seattle. And we're going to be taking off from here. We're going to be going down south and we're going to the Microsoft headquarters, which is where uh, 343 Industry Studio is. And they are the development team and creators for uh, Halo. And it's a massive Microsoft campus. There's loads of Microsoft buildings. It's like a sort of whole block area. It's just Microsoft. Uh, Jordan, thanks for the like. Mark, thanks for the like. Uh, Matthew coming in with a bing bong. Bing bong. Oh, yes. The beauty thing about this as well actually has. Look at that. There we go. Get everything turned on. This. Alright, pretty much ready to go. 
so we are like i say we're going to go down to the microsoft kite campus we're going to have a little cruise around there there is uh two flight modes to this the vertical uh unhovering and then you have the actual flight mode where you can actually fly and a flight so uh there is you have to take off in vertical leave there are no wheels have a little look there's cheeky little wheels in there Oh, there is some wheels. Oh, they have got wheels. So we're gonna have to. We're gonna try both versions. Oh, look, there's this one. Got a feeling that's Matthew. You're in a zip. <laughs> gonna be cruising around in these. Gonna be good fun. Feel free to join as well if you want to. Uh, we are on the East USA server. Uh, feel free to join. Like I say, we're in Seattle at the minute. We're at the South Cove Heliport, which is kind of uh, it's not actually modelled in here, apart from satellite imagery. I think that's Paul coming in as well. <laughs> All right, let's get uh, taking off then. I think we're ready. Pretty good to go. Oh, jumping. Why are the engines not fired up? Should have been flying earlier. Get in. There we go. Cool. Better. Flying. Funky to fly this. Put the undercarriage up. So we can hover along the ground, like you can side, kind of like side step around. You can rotate. Get the camera steady. Ooh. Then we have to go into here, flip the switch. We're in flight mode. And we go. Liam, thanks for like. Harry, thanks for like. How you doing? Bing bong. We got the bing bong. Uh, I hovered in and you did not see me. I heard you though. How you? Uh, how are you, Mr. Raven? I'm very good, Liam. How you doing, man? Hope you're recovering. Uh, Matthew, the parking brake. Was that the parking brake? Was it? Before I turn that off. Slow this right down. could be flying around. Better after yesterday. Yeah, man, that's crazy. I hope you continue to feel better, man. I'm still getting a bit used to this. It's a bit weird. We're going to go down. Very weird. It's like eerily silent as well. And turn it up a little bit. Proper, proper weird, this. Right, the Microsoft campus is below us very soon, just over here. Have a little 
we'll hover over here and then we shall go for a little cruise. So I need to go inside here. You got the other one flying there, look. <laughs> uh oh, mayday. So we've got the Microsoft Red West campus right down here below us. Try and find a nice floating point. Spin around here. See the X down there. Let's see which one is studio. You've got the Redmond Woods, uh, Microsoft Redwoods campus, which is that big X you can see down there. Looks like it's got some football pitch and stuff, but I'll lower the throttle here and get it going down. There we go. Nintendo of America Incorporated is in this building here. I believe. What else is that? Simon, thanks for your like. Liam, Harry, Jordan, Mark, thanks for your likes back there. You can open the cargo door and the doors inside, etc. Yeah, yeah, we'll get to that in a bit. Just wait to get out, get cruising points to check out. I didn't realise this was here in Seattle, to be honest. I'm sure it hasn't always been here and that it was somewhere else before. So if we carry on forward, this is uh, feeling really sore today. I can imagine, man, you're going to be bruised and all sorts. Like I say, I hope you recover well, man. All right, here we have Microsoft Studio B right below us here in that strange shape building. We've got the Microsoft... Uh, a building to our left. And we got. I'm going to do it where the shadow goes, right? So, Brian, thanks for like. Where my shadow is now, the corner of that building there. That's the Commons building. And then you've got Microsoft Building 92, which is that long one. They're all like really weird shaped buildings, aren't they? Microsoft Studio C, Microsoft Studio D. What's that big building over there? Comms Transportation Center, which is over there. Microsoft G, where's that one? We've got H and G here. 99 parking building, there. Uh, building 99, uh, F&E Studio, all these ones here, it's crazy man, it's massive buildings, oh my lord, and then over here we have more, uh, two more parking spaces bits here, Honeywell Building 1, Microsoft Building 111, uh, all these are Microsoft Buildings as well, uh, we've got building 114, 115, 113, 112. 112, this one here, it says Microsoft CAF in there. So you've got Microsoft CAF, building 112, uh, Microsoft CAF. That's crazy. There's another one as well, another Microsoft CAF over here for the apartments. These are apartments buildings with a CAF in there.
That's pretty tall. There is actually a, uh, a Marks of Way or something it's called. Part of the address. It's crazy. I know Marks are after a big thing, but it's crazy when they have big centers like that. I'm at work at the mo, just call me Iron Man. Oh, no way, you're really you at work. Damn. You're crazy, man. Let's see what's over here. One thing I need to do on here is fix the camera from moving around. Over this, so that's all like Microsoft, what we've just seen, and then this is Microsoft as well. This is the Microsoft Redmond camp Campus Modern Modernization. So that's all, I think it's been built now. It's all crazy, that. Look, there's loads more. Microsoft Building 33. Oh, my Lord. Liam coming in with the 300 stars. Jesus, well, thank man. you very much. Oh, my word. There's absolutely loads of buildings here. I didn't realise this was all here on the map until I zoomed right in. All this lot of Microsoft as well. Probably gonna bump into them. Close. Need to find a good biting point here. Right, so yeah, Microsoft Building 34. Just there. That's 33. 35, so. All in, there's gotta be over 100 buildings here then. Because that's all 17, 20. 25, 35, 30. Wow. 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. Wow. It is just crazy. This whole entire just section of Seattle. All of that section, building section here is just Microsoft. It's madness. G fan for life. Damn right, damn right. Wow, coming in with the 900 stars. I just see that. Wow. Liam. RG fan for life. Ah, oh, Liam, honestly, thank you very much, man. That is crazy. 1,200 stars. Thank you very, very much. You know what that means. Wow. Stefano, thanks for the like. <laughs> Thank you very much, Liam. <laughs> Watching me from the cargo door. Really? Watching me from the rear end, eh? Man, could you imagine about 30 of these hovering around? It'd be real funny. Need to, uh... Da -da 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 -da. Cam vision. Oh, you've got proper camera view. Right, let's see where all these buttons are then. Noctive and full valve. We've got some autopilot going on in here. These are all in up. I can break it yeah. Landing gear. Got a cargo door. That's got the cargo door there then. <laughs> so I wonder how we do the views, is it? would be for the cargo door. Nice aircraft mate, just be soon. Oh, sexy sausage. How you doing, Joel? 
Phil with the like, uh, Jason with the like as well, and Billy with the like as well. How are you all doing? Hope you're well. Not quite sure how we get to the camera view, so a little nose around. Can we go back here? Cheating around here. Press the control panel by the doors. Ooh. I can cheat and just use that view. <laughs> you can't go up or down, like forward or backwards, so I have to use the arrows side to side and kind of work out where to go. Uh, it's on the control panel, Matthew. Uh, right hand side switch, the cargo door at the bottom here. Cargo door, that one there. And then when you're in the view mode, you can only go left, right, up or down. So what you have to do is, is when you want to go somewhere, go left. But then turn 90 degrees and go left. Kind of thing. It's a bit... You get used to it. It's a bit weird, but... I've never worked out how to go forward. There must be a way, but... Unless you can do it on... Oops. So I just use left and right to sort of manoeuvre myself if I need to. And then go left. Hold. Left, hold to go back and forth. Ah, uh, see. Hey, what the oh man? I'd prefer that to be up and down, you know. Ah, see, look at that, learn new tricks every day. Right, I'm going to fly with the cargo door open, I think. I'm leave that open. Uh, let's see, say, where's the shitter? I'm not quite sure. I think we just hang off the, uh, hang off the back door and just let it drop, like a rock. Leslie, thanks for like. Right, we are going to head, or I'm going to head. The others are no doubt will follow. We're going to go along the little coastline section of Seattle. We're going to go up towards uh, Vancouver. Go to Vancouver Airport, which still follows along that nice coast. What the fuck are you flying there, AB? It is the D77. Oh, yeah. TC Pelican from Halo. Wow, Liam coming in with the 1200. What the fudge? Damn. I get some hashtag Liam's in the chat, man, and get them Liam the Legend stickers going on. Oh, yeah. Liam, thank you very much, man. Star bomb, definitely a star bomb. What the hell? Hashtag Liam's in the chat, coming in with another 1200 stars. What the hell, man? Joel with Liam the Legend, Jim, man. That is madness. Hashtag Liam from AB. Alright, let's drop down. Get flying. So we see most of the Microsoft. You can see the building shape X there. It's where they're sort of close to the headquarters. Uh, key, thanks for like. Let's put all the lights on. Mm -hmm. 
Here we go. Yeah, my FS FS is bust again doing a repair install. Oh, wow. Uh, Liam, you honestly are most welcome. Uh, Liam, you're incredibly generous, man. Absolutely generous. Thank you very, very much. If I attempted to get RG for life tattoo. Ah, you left it. I'll do it when you come up. <laughs> we'll get matching tattoos. There you go, Liam. Right, so we're going to head straight ahead. And we're going to go to coastline and then right. That nose trim up. How do you get into the atmosphere like the trailer? Uh, I'd imagine you just put it in flight mode and just climb. Uh, Tyler. Tyler over on YouTube. How you doing, man? Uh, I would imagine you just increase the just increase increasing the throttle and it'll just keep climbing. I haven't tried it yet. We're gonna do a little flight over to Vancouver and then I might try it, which is just up this coastline. Gonna take it a little bit easy. It only gets to about fifty thousand feet. Oh, okay, we'll try. We will. We will. I'll try something. Notice it likes to overspeed quite a bit. I'm trying to keep the nose down. It's going a bit. Any idea? Oh, yeah. Uh, keep getting stuck on load up screen, then having to disconnect internet to load up fly and reconnect net, but then marketplace and contact manager is greyed out. Ooh. That's crazy, that man. Seems to just want to climb this. Let's see. Uh But yeah, you know I have those legacy aircraft, obviously the imports and stuff, and I get that over. If I overspeed, like on a descent full throttle, it can go all shaky and then get caught and just speed up to like one and a half thousand knots. This seems to have that a similar issue where it says overspeed and starts shaking really bad. Uh, got to love flight. Some issues at Nat. Do you know what I'm? I'm forever tweaking and sorting things out in a sort of like you know, all the custom pl import planes that I've got, you know, I've got like over 300 of the, the buggers to try and fix each update. But, um, the actual sim itself, it's, it's been niggly issues, but I've never had like, um, you know, it like it wouldn't load or anything like that. I did have to, after I flew this earlier, like literally just took off and landed quickly. Uh, when I tried to go back to main menu, I was sat there for about 15, 20 minutes and it was just that blue bar was going really slow. So I did just just close it down and uh, start again, but never had anything too crazy. Uh, in the description, it talks about it being a civilian model and with the right permission, it can be unlocked. Ah, okay. Okie dokie, we'll have a look at that in a minute then, uh, Tyler. So you've got flight level controls, heading, fuel, and all that, so we'll have a little nose into that, like a challenge. It's this payware. No, it's free on the marketplace. And it's fully native as well. You get used to flying it. It's not like bringing it. It's best like to throttle back a little bit because it, it does like to overspeed and then go a bit weird. Mm. Tell you what, it's nice having nameplates off. As much as I like seeing who's flying around with me, it's so much cooler to be able to just do 
screenshots and captures and stuff without nameplates everywhere. Okay, yeah, well, let's hope I can get into the marketplace again after this repair. Hope so, man. I really do hope so. I don't understand why uh, sim can be so bad for some people. Some people really do have issues. I wonder if there's some sort of unidentified driver conflict or software conflict that you know, a lot of people have or don't have. I, I do see a lot of people complain about antiviruses and things. I never, t for the last... 15, 20 years, I've never had an antivirus, and I've never had a problem. Never had a virus, never had anything. Anything and everything I download, it's always from good sources, so it's, you know, it's not full of crap. You know, it's... I've never had an issue. My, my argument, that when I used to have antiviruses, if I ever got infected with anything, it would have dis it destroyed my computer before it had a chance to update and repair the like you know for the virus company to realise and send out an update to fix it and even then it, it could barely fix it because it had attacked so many core files it was it was irreparable you know turning everything into exes and all that kind of thing it was just a nightmare. Slow it down a little bit. So yeah, I've never run an antivirus in the last 20 years. Never had an issue. Just don't download shite. Anything and everything you get, try and get it from a trusted source or at least a reliable source. to fly these, aren't they? Almost feel like it's going to be a transformer, you know, like I want it to land vertical on its feet almost. <laughs> you know, so if you if if anyone who's watching right now has got McAfee, uninstall that, that for a start. Norton or McAfee, uninstall. They are the worst things ever. AVG used to be okay, especially as it was free, but then that got all a bit weird. Get rid of that. <laughs> More than meets the eye. <laughs> Your spot. Uh, have you tried uh, the new hawk they have on the marketplace? Ooh, uh, which one's that one? I've been flying the H145 Heli. It's pretty cool to fly. Yes, it is good. It is good. I, oh, my Discord got hacked and the guy and the person who hacked it removed me from all my Discords. I was in their development uh, Discord. I need to get back into that and all that. They do, they do a lot of good work. I'm pretty sure Destroyer's one of the lead developers on that. But no, Billy, I shall try and have a look at that hawk. I can't say I noticed it in there. Which hawk is it? Do you know? It's like got the full name of it at all. Get to shoot missiles. <laughs> uh, it's giving me a new hope of an actual usable hawk flight model, but I can't be dropping £45 if it's anything like the other one. Are you sure it's not the same, or is there actually two? There's a T45, which is a T1 they advertise all the RAF deliveries. Uh, 
Um, I'll have a look, Billy. Really. It might be that they've split it into two. It's the same aircraft, but just one with different liveries, maybe. I'll have a look, though, but I'm not aware of Just Flight or anyone else bringing out a separate T1. The one I got is direct from their um, their website because you get the extra guns and missiles and stuff. Uh, Abby, hey, I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you for coming there. Sup, bro? Uh, how do I find you in the game? Uh, we are by Van. We're about to be going to Vancouver. You'll see us on the East USA server. There's three of us. All on our way to Vancouver. Do you find, Matthew, that it keeps losing trim? Well, it's not losing trim. I'm having to keep readjusting it. A bit weird. I'm not adjusting speed. Hmm. Keep an eye on it. Yeah, I can see the Goshawk and then a separate T1. Uh, they even show smoke on the page. Hmm. I'll definitely check that out. Where is it? Vancouver? Uh, Vancouver's technically Canada. Just north of Seattle. I'm not sure of the Vancouver ICAO. Um, CYVR. King J13, thanks for the like. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Hope you will. with the trim yet. Uh, Michael, thanks for the like. Couple of screenshots. So it's quite a nice little cruise this. A nice little cruiser. Uh, go to Seattle International Airport. I see you there. Oh, we're flying away from there. That's where we took off. We're on our way to Vancouver. We're, we're quite away from Seattle now. I'm afraid. Uh, Georgia, thanks for like. As well, here he is. Do you have airport over there? Yes, I put the code in the chat. CYVR. As soon as I accelerate too much, 
It goes down there. What is that airport down there? That should be Billingham, uh, Bellingham Airport, I think. Yeah, Bellingham International Airport. B E L L I N G H A M. Still got a minus 11 trim at the minute. It still wants to raise the nose. You in West Europe server? No, in East USA. East USA. We're just about to approach the Canadian border, by the looks of it. Uh, is that what I think it is? The Pelican Echo 419? It's the D77-TC, I think. Uh, Pelican, yep. Yeah. How's the missus doing? She feeling better? She's not too bad. A little bit better. Little man's got like a cold now and I've got a cold. And, uh, it's been fun times. Fun, fun times. Can't wait for them to add helicopters. I think I'll find you. Ah, good, good. Join in, join in. Yeah, once the helicopters are a uh, sort of uh, native, it'll... Uh, should allow them to really hone the helicopters that they've already developed in, which will be good. Mm. I know the Osprey is available to buy, but not going to get it. I don't know, you've said, mentioned the Osprey yesterday. There isn't an Osprey to buy. There's an Optica, but not an Osprey that I'm aware of. I could be wrong, but I've never seen one. Is there an Osprey in the marketplace? I wouldn't have wasted my time converting and getting that one to fly otherwise. <laughs> Let me check. I'm sure you're thinking of the Optica. It's a weird, like, bubble-like. There's like a bubble window on the front. Like I said, I could be wrong, but I've never seen one. Certainly not had anyone talk about it, because when I've posted videos of my Osprey, people have gone nuts. set the trim to zero. This is going all over the place, this. You know it wants to go up. Can't make its mind up. Well, we're very close to Vancouver International. Plenty of runways to choose from. Now, I could stick it in detail mode and just hold it down but I'm thinking I may try and do a rolling landing there is wheels I didn't realize oh hell no visual circle in your household yeah we synchronized getting sick at the same time 
Let's see if you get better at one to stay better. <laughs> this is what I said to Faye, I said we all need to separate and I've slept on the sofa a couple of times. Just to just sit because she's coughing all night and and then I didn't want to get that and then I've been coughing a little bit so I didn't want her getting that again, so I've been uh I've had a couple of nights on the sofa just so she can sleep. She's had work at like 5 30 in the morning and stuff while she's been ill still, so uh, no, it was the A10 I saw. Ah, oh, the A10 on the marketplace. Terrible. No, I don't find you flying to some airport. We are flying to some airport. I put the airport code in CYVR, Vancouver. We're flying to Vancouver. So yeah, I noticed there's wheels actually on the undercarriage, so we could, I'm going to try a rolling landing, normal landing. Uh, howdy, hello, where are you from? I am from England. Originally from Essex, but now living up north. I'm Canadian. Oh, wow. Oh. We're actually just going to be landing at Vancouver. Oh, I was thinking about it. Actually, someone taxi onto the runway. <laughs> Hello, mate. What do you think of the new D77 TC jet? Not too bad. It's a, you know, obviously it's a bit of a gimmick being a Halo aircraft, but yeah, it's good. Something a little bit different. I know a lot of people uh, seem to not like non-commercial aircraft in the sim. Uh, even going as far as moaning about the military aircraft they've got in the sim. To me, it's a case of... If it's there and you don't want to use it, then it don't affect you, you know? So it just gives everyone else who do want to give say, a different... Something different, a fly, a chance, you know? Uh, what server I can fly beside? We're on East USA. East USA. AB saying, eat lots of oranges. Yeah, we've got the old uh, multivitamin, vitamin C's and that sort of thing, orange juice. Okay, he's finally asleep. Now I'm coughing my guts up again. Ugh. I've just noticed my chat's being a little bit, um, iffy. So I apologize if I miss any. If I don't read your comment, please repeat it if you can. Uh, Elder, thanks for the like. You don't in East USA server. Pretty sure I am. Let's have a little nose. Let me just make sure. East USA. Yeah. Ah, oh, awesome. Thank you very much, Huddy, over on uh, YouTube. We're, I'm streaming on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube right now. So thank you very much. Appreciate that. Right, I did notice some wheels on the undercarriage pegs of this, so I am going to go out to sea, and I'm going to attempt a normal landing somehow. See how we can go. It's a little bit ropey. Otherwise, I could just flick the switch and just lower onto the runway, but where's the fun in that? Drink honey with warm water. It will help the cough. Dry coughs are the worst. There, yeah, indeed. Thanks for the follow over on Twitch as well. Appreciate that. Thank you very much.
So why I don't see you? I don't know, but that is uh, that's the server I'm on. I'm afraid sometimes the multiplayer is a little bit weird. It can sometimes take a little while to update and show people. Uh, did everyone drop their troops off? <laughs> <coughs> yep. Uh, it is possible. I've just done it. Cool beans. Mm. Let's get that nose up a little bit. I need to slow it down. It's going way too fast. Here we go. Oh, it's still got lift. Matthew, come in with the 100 stars. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much You're a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, what's your name in MFS Raven Gaming? I'll show you up on the top here. All one word, R-A-V-I-N-G-A-M-I-N. Actually, don't mind this echo. It's pretty cool. What are we going here? I think I've turned off the music. What does that play up there? Does that play? Uh, I'd be epic if it played the Halo theme tune. Uh, do you happen to own the F22 or the F16 or MIG? Because I own all three and like escorting in one of them. Uh, the 22 and the 16, I believe. Is that now? I actually quite enjoy flying that, you know. It's actually quite cool. <laughs> it's funny with you two hovering around as well. How do you open the cargo door? Bottom right hand button on the interior. So bottom right hand button right there. Cargo door, this one. And then if you use Alt and forward, in. it's a bit difficult, but yeah. You can open the doors. You can go out. to the back. Donna, thanks for like. How you doing? Hope you're good. I'm on Xbox, so I don't have access to that. Uh, yes, you should. Yes, you should. You would have to just use your controller. You, if you're on Xbox as well, you can plug in a standard PC mouse and keyboard, and I suggest you, if you haven't got one, spare just buy a cheap one five pound off ebay or five dollars off ebay or something like that just get the cheap cheap and cheerful optical mouse and keyboard and you can plug them in and then you can use the keyboard i do you should have yeah you should be able to you should be able to, every button in the, on this you should be able to click that just hover your uh cursor over there pulls on xbox he's streaming it uh i have two yeah if you plug them in they'll work and then you've got things like you can use B to set your Q and H in the aircraft. You can do your cameras and that kind of thing. Whiskey, lemon sip, hot water, two sugar, honey. I phase already been on the uh, whiskey. I also drink uh, med lemon just before getting into bed. It also helps. 
Uh, Diogo, thank you very much for the like. Hello, everyone's bumping in now. Hey, Twitch crash for me, so. Ooh. A hug. Thank you very much. <laughs> I own two expensive mouses. Nice. Best way, best way. Right, seeing as you want to escort, what we gonna, what should we fly in next? I'm going to leave the choice up to the viewers. Something, uh, one of the imports, not, not something that you can just get in the scene. We're going to do something different. We're going to fly from Vancouver. We'll have to go to the main menu quickly, though, just to reset. Or should we fly from somewhere else? I'm, I'm, ooh, Los Angeles. I've not, I don't think I've taken off in Los Angeles before. Los Angeles International. Play with the like, share, and follow. Oh, a bit of a long as well. I feel like doing a little low and slow tour around Vegas at some point in, in a bit as well. And you, good, good, good. Wait. <laughs> that, actually, thanks for like. <laughs> it's like saying, wait, don't go. I'm thinking of doing a flight from Los Angeles to Vegas. What are we saying? What should we go in? What should we fly in? Uh, we all picked different liveries. We did. So it was good. Oh, here comes someone else, bouncing along. <laughs> it's going to be five of us. He's over there, I think. Uh, AB, enjoy your flight, Dave. Take care, Faye. I hope you feel better soon. I am like an ice block sitting here. It's five degrees. Time to warm up in bed. Oh, damn, AB. Thank you very much for coming in, man. Take care yourself. Right, come on, chat. I'm gonna pour myself, I'm gonna finish this water, pour myself a drink. Oop. Oop. Was that you, Huddy? Flying past, I crashed. Ah, oh, no way. Ah, oh, is that you in the back? See what I see you there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, skinny around. Sweet dreams, they be. Without nameplates on, I can't tell who's buzzing around, so. Yeah, like I say, in the chat, let me know what you'd like me to fly in. Like I say, something uh, non standard. We'll, we'll go with something. Uh, I might actually just nip. I'm going to go to the main menu. I'm going to take. We're going to take off from. Los Angeles International Airport. I'll get the ICA, ICAO code. Oh, yeah, it's KLA, it's not. Alright, so I'm going to jump to a main menu. Faye's going to try and sleep. Three dreams, Faye. It's me, haha, I'm stuck. Oh no. Right, as you can watch on the screen, we're going to go uh, K. I'm going to take off towards the sea as well. Right, what aircraft should we take out? Now I fly this shit. <laughs> uh, next bit of practice. What runway? Uh, runway 25. Right. 
Uh, what aircraft shall I fly? I need something a little bit speedy, but I want something different. F-18. I want something that's not in the sim. That military cargo plane. Oh, which one? Which one? Which one? Do, 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 do. Da, 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 do, do. Got the AWACS. K forty six. F thirty five. I want something that's not native to the sim. AC forty six. We could do, can't we? I want something with a. The, I've not finished the cop. I've not done the uh, sorted out the cockpit on that though. I want something with a decent cockpit. I've never flown. To be fair, I've never flown the Vulcan to Vegas. I've flown it around Vegas, and never flown it to Vegas. I'll bring my Tomcat. Oh, look at him, he loves the old Tomcat. Um, 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 uh, okay. I'm enjoying myself in the Vulcan. I need to change the uh, flight model quickly. I'll meet you on the runway up there in a second. Wow, loads of aircraft here. Look at that. Wow. words how you doing uh skip tree is the tornado available uh no it's a conversion just saw they released the pelican from halo bro yeah that's what i've been flying <laughs> that's, what I've been, that's what i've been flying for uh just over literally minutes over an hour not too bad you take it to space yet no 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 apparently it goes to fifty thousand, then you have to try and sort it out and go higher but i'll, I'll try that on another day I just have to adjust the, uh, the daytime here. Got a little bit brighter, sure. Wait for me! You have a Discord, I do indeed. If you type in exclamation Discord. Oh, this is not the Pelican, I know, it's the Vulcan. We've been flying the uh, Pelican for over an hour. The explanation Discord only works in uh, Facebook. You might want something a little bit quicker than those uh, Pelicans. And you go to like 300, well, 350, 400, and then it's all over speed. Uh, why is it taking me so long to load? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Look, Matthew's in the old Tomcat. Is that an F 18? It's probably. All I think in the F-18 maybe. I have to guess now with no name plates. Rosie, thanks for your like, really appreciate it. Big shout out to everyone on Twitch, YouTube and Facebook. Appreciate you watching. Uh, I am in the F-22 over the MiG and F-16. Coolio, coolio. We are waiting, we are waiting.
Right, while I'm waiting for everyone, I'm going to pour myself a drink and we're going to cruise on over to Avedo Ice. Yeah, it's the fast, I think. Yeah, the Vulcan only goes about 550, 600 before it starts to become a little bit unstable. I'm not going to go like crazy, crazy, but yeah, I'll get a cruise. Uh, no, we're at Los Angeles, KLAX. For some reason it's not ah my messages aren't being posted in oh yeah, it should be there we go I went to truth that time yeah kill 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 Yeah, you might struggle to keep up with them pelicans. If... Yeah, let's mark Las Vegas. Sorry, this is taking a long time, no worries. Do you own the F-22? I, I thought I did, I may not have it installed. I, take a, I tend to take a lot of stuff out if I'm not using it. Because I've got so many other planes. Um, I'll have to check, F-22. I had the Raptor. That's the free one, isn't it? The Raptor. Yeah, I should have that. Uh, F-16, I believe I do. The F-22 and the F-16, I'm not sure about the MiG, I'd have to check on that. Do -do 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 -do. Right, let me know when you're all ready to go. It's rock and roll. Uh, Harriet, hi, how you doing? Oh, someone floating in here. I'm almost in. Jeez, it never takes this long. Ah, no worries. I don't know why I don't find you. Nor do I. We are at K. You are at the right airport, yeah? K L A X. Might just take a little while to load. Do you ready? Uh, I'm loading in right now. I go in east, but I switch to west. Yeah, yeah just pop it back to uh, east. Got all these people, I think they're waiting for us. I'm currently sick and trying to be comfortable. Sorry to hear that, Harriet. I'm not too uh, good at the minute as well. I had a massive cold. And I've got a dry, tickly cough as well. Touch wood. I've not coughed too much today. I just feel really groggy and like a, little, a bit bunged up. Uh, man, mate, gaming, thanks for like. Aaron, thanks for like. How you doing?
can't believe they create Pelican in this game. Well, that's Microsoft product after all. It's easy for them. Throw the objects far in and skew them. Go. Alright, mate, how's you? Not too bad, man. Feeling a bit better. I can feel my throat starting to get dry and tickly, though. And my game crashed as soon as I loaded in. Feel free to leave. I can catch up, but I don't want to delay you anymore. Okay, Huddy, we won't be going too crazy. <laughs> we won't be going too crazy. Let's get going. Oh, why is that flight panel gone blue? Huh? I don't think that's loaded in right. That's never been blue. Uh -huh. Right, let's go. On, on the, whoever's flying this hey, pretty pretty, they're going to see a little Cessna. Marty, thanks for the like. Hey there, man. Just overtaken. And he's going to see a little Cessna. And he's going to be like, what the hell? Yeah. Is it supersonic? No, it's not supersonic. It goes just below a Mach 1. It's about 600 knots uh, top speed. The thing is huge, it's slow to take up. It wasn't going slow. I was doing over. I was doing nearly 300 knots on takeoff. I just chose to keep it on the runway for a long time. All right, let's wait for everyone to catch up, get taken off, and sort it out, and we'll go for it. Fever, headache, cough, tiredness, and coldness, which are all from COVID. I've never had COVID. I've never had COVID. Stay well clear of everyone. vaccinated people that have had COVID than that. several people following. Let's head over these hills. I'm going to keep it easy, about 500 knots. We're doing about 530 at the minute, so I'll slow down. Buddy, 
Yeah, I'm coming. Damn it. My cousin, who I live with, is constantly interacting with me. But she does wash her hands. It's not just about washing hands as well, so it's... Everything they breathe on, everything they cough over. Just being in the same room, it's, uh, you know, same house, it's circulating in the air. Plus drinking drinks that boost the immune system. Yeah, it can all help. Santa Monica. I don't think I have. I've, I'm very, uh, I haven't flown much in the US to be honest. I've only kept to like major places. You know, sort of uh, New York, that sort of, you know, LaGuardia and that sort of thing, San Francisco. Uh, I've flown around Vegas quite a few times, but I've not flown to it too many times. So many mountains, don't know which way. <laughs> I'm just head in the general direction of Vegas, just cruising. You should see my nameplate. Cut through here and then do a right. Thanks for like. I'm following the SU-57. I, I don't know if that's Joel. Are you in here, Joel? Yeah, I'm just cruising about 500 knots. Nothing too crazy. SU-57, yeah, hey, Joe is in the room, or oh, in the sky, as you say. See, F-18, uh, Utario 2, hi man, how you doing? Nothing quiet in here, the clouds are looking pretty good. Approaching sunset. That game in, thanks for like. Jez's game in, thanks for like. Doug, thanks for like. How you doing? Jerry, thanks for like. Everyone's high on today. How's everyone doing? A few items to reboot. Oh, no way, man. We're just by um, the Los Ange Lake Los Angeles, uh, so Victorville. I'm trying to see if there's an airport on, in front of us. Uh, yes, Southern California Logistics Airport. Uh, Apple Valley Airport, there's lots of small ones as well. Adelanto Airport, Crayfield, El Mirage Field, Hanson Airport, that's quite a few. Let me know when you're back on if you need one. Don't follow the F-18 when P he is down. <laughs> I was born in Victor. Was you really, Maggie? Wow. I'll have to do a little fly around there one day. Buy a jet down. Right, get down. 
I should have put my flight suit on for the old Hulk and should have the mask and everything. I will, once up the stream room's uh, been, uh, once the workshop's extension's been built and the, the workshop then becomes the stream room, uh, I'll be getting all my cosplays and stuff sorted. I've actually been eyeing up um, a proper a pilot's helmet from the Cold War as well, so that'll match perfectly with the official Vulcan Cold War gas mask. So it'll go together. All fun and games. Get back into all the cosplay stuff. I see you. Be good kids. There he is. It's Joel. station at AFB when I was born. It's now logistics airport. Ah, okay, okay. I saw that on the map. Yeah, Victorville is just to our right. It's not far at all. You don't live anywhere around here anymore though, do you? You moved way away, didn't you? I thought so. Gonna come over for some meat. <laughs> Lots of meat. Get their ribs. I want like 24 hour slow smoked ribs or something. Going past the Sambara, you think I'm going 900 knots. Oh, nice. as the sim starts to get darker you get the lights but you can still see everything I do like the sort of sunset time it's out the window then Turning. I usually always have nameplates on, but then I try and get screenshots and they just look crap with the nameplates on. We like to post our screenshots in the Discord after streams and things, so, and I also want to start putting some bits on the group. Having the nameplates on just makes it look terrible, especially it's not so much us, I, I wouldn't mind if it was just us. But it's like you can be somewhere where there's just like a montage of just nameplates overlapping on the horizon from other players. So I like to keep them off. So cool. Good to have so many people on different platforms as well. Scotty, thanks for the like. I just see that back there. That'd be good. Some of the audio for notifications are not working on my headphones for some reason. I hope you're good, Scotty. I 
take it you can't fly with us. I'd be seeing the Eurofighter somewhere. He was. for work. Ah, sorry to hear that, Scotty, man. Look forward to flying with you soon, then, man. As I say, once once everything's sorted out there, we'll be doing a lot more uh, day streams. So they will include afternoons as well and, like, early evenings. So we'll get on some flights in at sort of, like, a, an earlier time so that more people can join if they want earlies and stuff. Uh, I'm going to eat, be right back, no worries, Hedy. Mariner Halley, thanks for the like. Love the sound of them SU-57s, I know they are cool, now. Stephen Halliburton, thanks for the like. How you doing, man? Hope you good. about Mariner but in December when I go for the Vulcan flight simulator I need to turn this down that's it loud. I don't know what it was like on the stream. Apologies if it's a bit too crazy. I forget how loud this Vulcan is. Uh, but yeah, Mariner, December time. Uh, not too bad, man. How are you? Just getting over cold, man. Feel much better today, but still, like, groggy and just congested, I guess. But yeah, in December, when I do the Vulcan simulator, I want to try and meet up with people in, uh, in and around sort of the Manchester area. Because we'll be in, we'll be in Stockport for the day, and then moving over to Manchester. So let's try and meet. You're going to speak to Liam, see if he can travel up. I don't know if he'll be able to. It's a bit of a mission, but I know Brian's around that area, so we'll speak to Brian and just see who wants to meet up. We'll be uh, probably go Manchester at that pub at the Manchester Airport. <laughs> we'll have to stand out the back and get a good photo. Crazy here, yeah. it's awesome. Better check I'm still on course for Vegas, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, man, I'll be there, that'll be awesome. Uh, I'm going there on Tuesday to pick up with my parents up. Ah, okay, but yeah, we'll speak to speak to as many people as possible. We'll try and book it in advance. Obviously, if people can't make it, they can't make it. Uh, Faye and I will be there regardless. We'll probably get some food or something, some drink, try and do it like. Um, early evening or something. I don't know if people want to do it in the, in the lunch. Well, again, we'll have a discussion because Ray and I will be on limited time, so the flight sim is 2.30, I think, or 2 o'clock for 90 minutes, so say 4, 4-ish, four half 4, and then by the time we get to the station, go to Stockport and then get to, sorry, get to Stockport Station and then go to um, 
some entrance or stuff, you, you know, you're going to be looking at five, six o'clock. So I don't know if we perhaps do it for the next day lunchtime. So we'll, I'll, I'll post up the dates and see what people can do. It's not going to be a weekend, it's a weekday. So it might be more difficult. Then you notice a. Uh, Go and stay in Manchester for a night. Oh, yeah. That's another, that is another option. We could do our second night stay in Manchester. Uh, so we do a one night in Stockport, do the sim the next day, and then travel to Manchester and then have a hotel in Manchester. Just let them know that we're not going to book in until like five, six o'clock when we get there. Um, And then head to the pub and can be there for a few hours and it all depends what people want to do with travel arrangements that sort of thing that'd be good to meet everyone though have a drink and of course get a good photo today out of the, out of the back with the planes That'd be good, because I know it'll be December, so it'll be dark. Ah, oh, it'll get dark about four. They won't get any good photos. Ah, oh, no. Might have to go there the next day for lunch, just so that we can get some day photos. Or brick, like early breakfast or something. Early breakfast. See all the little lights buzzing around. The sun's probably settling in now. Still need to move that light on the top. Getting very, very close to Vegas. Go up and down the strip, I think. A nice little cruise. Go on our Facebook subscribers underneath there. I need to update that list. Get that rolling soon. Getting back into vaccine control in two men after a few months. Nice. Like I said, I, need, I still need to sort out that other thing as well if you're still interested in doing it. That'd be really cool. Perhaps speak to you on, um, on Discord one night and no, do a practice run. I'll just kind of show you what I want to do. as if I'm one of them so you can kind of in your mind see how it might work oh I've got that 
low level turbulence thing going on. Da, da, da. Do you know what? I can't remember if I've got my uh, Vegas stuff loaded in, you know. Could end up being a very cool Vegas. It should be in, I can't remember. I'm a bugger for that. Like, if I don't think I'm going to go there that stream, I'll turn it off. So you got the Henderson Executive Airport to our right hand side. We're not going to be landing over there though. So just over there as you can see. I'm going to go up the Vegas Strip. And we'll come back to the, well I know it is the McLaren, McLaren Airport. It's now the Harry Reid National, I think. That's right. Fingers crossed I've got the scene impact loaded in. Let's slow right down. That looks like I do. There we go. That's where I stayed on the left, the Excalibur. We've got New York, New York on the left, MGM on the right. This is Palace, Bavaria, Bellagio. This Caesar's Palace, Mirage, Treasure Island. Flamingo is to the right hand side just then, so uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, over the ankle. Whoa. Still going way too fast. That was Circus Circus on the left behind us. That's the tower, the roller coaster on the top and the rides, I think. Is it the CS Tower? Is that right? Now a little bit better than that, should I? But well, we'll be seeing Fremont Street and the D bar. The D. How they got away with that, we'll never know. There's the big D. That is Fremont Street, where you see that like cone-like shape over the street, the long tube. That's Fremont Street. Got a big uh, zip line going from one end to the other, which you can go along. That's really cool. Heart Attack Grills there, where you can get the uh, Drupal Heart Attack Burger and the milkshake. Well, that's two churns away from being butter. It's made of real buttermilk. It's lovely. America. And, uh, this is kind of like the no man's land. This is where you don't go in Vegas. The porn shop's down there, you know, the TV show. Circus Circus. Whoa, there's a major frame drop here. The only cool. Oh, you got the Venetian. That's cool, the Venetian with all the uh, lake inside and everything. It's cool. Mirage, Mirage. 
Flamingo. Oh, look, you got the water fountains going. Shit, I'm going to miss that as well. Bastard. Might have to go back round. I want to get a screenshot of it. I think these are the Trump Towers here. Right by the mall. Yeah, that's right. Back of MGM. Yeah, that's right. It's... for it luckily. <laughs> mm, well that would have been uh, embarrassing. I'm okay, going way too fast. Why is it doing 175? Yeah, a lot slower than that. This looks so cool at night. Look at this. Kissing the trees here. Excalibur. Do you know where we need to go as well? Luxor. That was so nice in the Luxor. It's the Rio around here. Yeah, Rio's over there. We'll go over there in a second. I want to just go down here. Because if we go down here, I'm going to have to try and pause it if I can. Hey, there it is. We got Hooters. Here we'll have a bit of the hooters. Ah, oh, we've landed. That's great. Come on, go, 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 go. Can we recover? No. No. Do you have the enhancements for Vegas? Yes. Seriously, does look cool. I think this is the Rio over here. This is where we saw, um, what can we call it? An antella. Yeah, there's the Rio. There's Penn and Teller on the actual side of the building. Awesome. <laughs> I 
Yeah, picture of that. Look at that. We never went to the Palms. Like I say, we went to Rio because we saw the thing. We never went to the Palms. It looks good there, though. I'm going to fly through. Whee. Gonna have to have a proper little run around. I don't know where the wa the Walmart that I went to was like at the end of the strip. We never left. It was over in that direction somewhere, quite a way off the strip, where I picked up a laptop. Nice and cheap. The same. The lesser model was one thousand eight hundred pounds, and I got it for nine hundred dollars for the better touchscreen model. Still got that laptop. It's good. It's got two good graphics card and all sorts, NVIDIA. Not a bad laptop. It's served me very well. I would like to put a decent SSD in it and make it even faster. Alright, it's going to land at the Karen Airport, or the Reed. Harry Reed as it's now known. So we're going to have to do a night flight coming into Vegas with an airliner. We actually, when we first ever went to Vegas, it was at night. We landed, I think it was about 11 at night, 10, 11 at night, and it was beautiful coming into the scenery. Uh, Jamie, thanks for the like. Vegas was so fun. Slow down for y'all. Uh, what we do is I'm going to taxi over here. We can line up and get the back, nice backdrop. Super nice backdrop. Get out in the uh, drone. Not 
sure where the uh, pelican people went. Come back. when I need my three screens so it's set up again get one in just three screens like in the three screens with the background would be awesome nice. that was awesome man I think that's it if there won't be many times I've flown to uh, Vegas before especially in, uh, in the Vulcan that's good good to see the Nimrod as well Thank you to everyone that's flown with me. I'm going to uh, end the stream here. It's ever so slightly early, but um, got on a little bit late because I've sorted some things out and uh, I've got a busy day tomorrow. Big, big build stuff tomorrow. I'm, all, I'm ready to start ordering like the tons of aggregate, sand and cement and ballast and all that kind of stuff. Tons and tons of it. So, uh, big day tomorrow. I need to measure out everything, make sure all my calculations are correct order everything right and then I can start putting in the rebar I actually now I need to get the DPM then I can start laying in the rebar and all that I just need to mark up the framework first so that'll be tomorrow's job as well putting in all the wood framing ready for the DPM to go in then the rebar and then start the concrete pour once I've got all these stuff so cool flight everyone Great stream, later six sausage. See you later, Joel. Thanks to everyone that's joined me. Thanks to everyone who's been watching on Twitch, uh, YouTube, and Facebook. Thank you to everyone that liked, shared, and followed. Thanks to everyone that sent stars. Very, very generous. I shall see you all tomorrow. And I will actually post some of the updates out there. It's literally just digging and measuring, and uh, I've been trying to hack away at cement and where they didn't do a proper cement mix. It's like all crumbly and weird, so when you hit it with a sledgehammer, it kind of compacts a little bit rather than like cracks and smashes. So I've literally had to have a little, you know, like the brick hammer that you break bricks with. It's like a, it's almost like a chisel, but on a hammer. I've been using one of them to just chip away at this massive block of powdery cement, so to speak. So uh, yeah, it's been a bit annoying, but. Cheers, such as life. It's getting there though, so hopefully I can get it all framed out tomorrow and then start ordering. It'll be good. Oh, here we uh, Get tired already just thinking about it. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again, everyone. Take care, and I shall see you all tomorrow. Cheerio. There it is. <laughs>